A recent call from a customer who asked about how to enter US coil pairs has prompted me to make this video to help him as well as other users. In EasyStamp we list all Scott listed coil singles as they are listed by Scott. But since they do not assign unique catalog numbers for coil pairs, we must handle them separately. I'll show you two ways to enter these types of coils. Here's method number one. We can create a new custom grade called mint coil pair and used coil pair. We already have uh, videos on how to do this. It's called how to add new grade types like mint no gum on the website. Please refer to this video for, for the full details. For now, I will create two new grades as mentioned above. So we go to the utility menu, grade configuration editor, and we're going to add a new grade. I'm going to call it Oops. Mint coil pair. And we're going to get the values for mint. I'm going to double the value because there's two uh, two stamps in the pair. And I'm going to add a surcharge of 105% for uh, it being never hinged. And we click OK. And there it is. And I'll do the same for the used coil pair. And I'll double it up again. Obviously, never hinge surcharges don't apply for used. And there's our two grades. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move these up near the top so that we can see them uh, easily without having to scroll down in the grades area. And then I'm going to save them. So I'll bring up our stamp again, and there's our two new grades, mint coil pair and used coil pair. Now that we have the new grades, we can just inventory them as any other stamps. I will also add uh, coil pair in the category field, which allows us uh, for easy searching for, uh, for such records. So I'll inventory this stamp as a mint coil pair and all you have to do is just click the blue check mark and we've now inventoried it. I'm going to add a coil pair into the uh, category and we can also add comments in here just to make them stand out. You can also do it in the grade details. and save it. Likewise we could do the same for used. We could choose a different stamp. So let's add a used coil pair for this one. How much detail you want to add on each stamp is up to you whether you want to enter it in the grade details or not. And I'll also add this into the
into the record. Okay, so now that we've done this, we can use the line item report to filter out all the stamps that we want to see. And we're just going to select here on our report to see only mint and used uh, uh, coil pairs. And it found two. And there's the two that we just entered in our, uh, in our database, in our inventory. Now I'll show you method number two. You would basically enter the coil as you would any other stamp. So this, uh, this coil here, let's say we had this as uh, used very fine and we've got a coil pair. So I'm going to put in used coil pair. And then I would increase the quantity to two because this is a pair. And click the blue check mark and you've now entered that particular stamp as a used very fine single. If you had it as a, uh, uh, let's do another one, let's say you had it as a used single, uh, sorry, a used pair, you could just choose the grade that you have. So again, mint very fine, uh, never hinged, a quantity of two, type in coil pair, and save it and if you run a report you'll see that here's the two that we just entered 412 and 413 but if you run the line item report you'll see that they will not um, they won't appear on that report in the same way so let's just run it and I'm going to choose all grades this time So you'll see that we have a used coil pair, a mint coil pair, and the two that we entered as singles. All right. So the choice as to how you do it is, is sort of up to you. I preferred method number one by creating the new grades, but either will work. It's just a, a preference that uh, you may or may not like. All righty. I hope you enjoyed this video.